And staying with Latin America, Colombia has been pouring money into its economy in an attempt to boost economic expansion. The government's recent $2.7 billion stimulus package is aimed at boosting the country's growth. And I spoke with Finance Minister Mauricio Cardenas about the goal of hitting 4.8% GDP growth for the year. And now he hopes Colombia will soon join the company of some of the world's most developed nations. Well, our economy should be growing at a rate which is close to 5%, let's say 4.8%, that's the potential. Our projections for this year indicate that without the stimulus package, growth was going to be 4%. So we needed to put some additional incentives in the economy in the form of investment in infrastructure, uh, subsidizing uh, interest rates so that uh, more people have access to housing so that the economy picks up and reaches the potential growth rate of 4.8 percent. Now one of the challenges you're probably going to face is maintaining the level of the Colombian peso. What is your strategy to ensure that it doesn't appreciate at too rapid a pace? That's our biggest concern because the reason why you're not growing so well um, it's the appreciation of the currency. It's too strong. Um, it's hard for the manufacturing sector, for the agricultural producers to compete with imports. And our exports are also suffering. So um, we're introducing in this package of the stimulus measures also a request to pension funds to save more in dollars, to right. save more abroad, so that we release some of the pressures that have been uh, strengthening our currency. Now, let's focus on your relationship with the U.S. A representative from California, Ed Royce, recently wrote to the White House advocating that Colombia be part of the OECD. What has been the obstacle in getting Colombia to be part of the OECD? It's a big aspiration for us. There are two countries in Latin America that are already members of the OECD, Mexico and Chile. We want to be the third uh, country to be a member. President Obama has already announced publicly the endorsement of Colombia's aspiration to enter the OECD. We are now hoping that very soon news will arrive uh, from the OECD Council uh, inviting formally Colombia to begin a process of uh, membership. And by the way, it's important also to say we think we have uh, the condition to be a member of the G20. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year, we were part of the meetings of the G20 because uh, Mexico invited Colombia as one of the prerogatives of the host country to invite others. Um, but we think we should be full permanent members of the G20 because we have the third largest GDP in Latin America. Right. We're a growing economy, very stable, very prudent and solid macroeconomic policies. Uh, the rule of law in Colombia also ranks very well. So we want to be part of the G20. So what kind of timeline do you think it'll take before Colombia is part of the OECD and potentially part of the G20? What's your forecasted time frame? OECD is going to come first. Um, and we hope that within the next month or so, we're formally invited. That was our, uh, that's our expectation based on the information that we have. And once we're formally invited, it will take about a year to complete all the necessary documentation to formally uh, enter. Um, in terms of the G20, it's a more difficult process. It depends uh, on, on a number of issues, but we're making the case, and, uh, and we think that uh, uh, we have strong arguments. And by the way, we're also telling people stories about what's happening in Colombia. It's a successful story. Colombia has done remarkably well in terms of access to financial markets, in terms of growth, and we think we deserve a better rating. Well, we have a triple B minus, and I think the rating agencies should just upgrade our ratings soon to basically reflect the situation of the Colombian economy and its uh, potential. And so you're trying to get S&P and Fitch to yes. upgrade your sovereign debt yes, rating? Yes, that's, that's, that's part of our agenda. We have meetings with the rating agencies. The markets are already uh, discounting the fact that Colombia should have a higher rating. Uh, we were able to place a um, few months ago a billion dollars in bonds, a 10-year bond, 
at the rate of 2.7 percent. That's the interest rate Colombia is now paying is less than what most European countries are paying on their public debt. We think that because of that and because how we look at things in terms of the economic conditions right. into the future, Colombia should have a higher rating than it has now. And Colombia's foreign direct investment for 2012 was a record $16.7 billion.